Hello everyone. Now, we will continue with the different parameters of fabric which affect the tactile sensation. Okay. So, these are the parameters bending, shear, fabric roughness, fabric scratchiness and uh, these are the uh, tactile sensation, fabric uh, prickle sensation, clinginess, uh, warm and heaviness of the fabric and uh, type of uh, fabric. So, these are the different uh, sensations and related fabric parameters. Okay. So, that we have mentioned in uh, last class that this uh, study talks about the density of yarn, so weave density, yarn twist and yarn count. So, and uh, here it is a only polyester filament has been used continuous filament and oven fabric. Okay. So, these are the uh, all the fabrics related to the polyester continuous uh, filament oven fabric. Taffeta is a fabric where it is a twistless continuous filament is used for both warp and weft, weft yarn and where the weave density is changed here weave density is changed to change the fabric stiffness. Okay and it is a it is a classified uh, by crispness smoothness it is a smooth crisp plain oven fabric it is a made of either a silk or synthetic fiber here we have used actually it has been it has been taken that it is a polyester continuous filament then uh, crepe design it is a continuous filament with a uh, high twisted weft yarn along with the twistless or uh, low twisted warp yarn. So, the combination which keeps the small creep structure at the surface. Okay. On the surface it gives a uh, small creep structure. Here wave density and yarn twist weft yarn twist are changed. Okay. So, next uh, type of fabric is georgette. Georgette where both warp and weft yarns are high twisted. Okay. This one is it is a called pongi is made of false twist textured yarn. It, it gives bulk. Okay. So, continuous polyester filament which is actually false twisted and the false twist is used both for warp and weft. So, the name pongi is used mainly for fine silk fabric, okay. but that here it is used for polyester textured fabric to give fullness and flexibility. So, here again wave density was changed. So, Pongi fabric it is uh, it uh, gives the fullness softness okay. chiffon. So, it consists of high twisted yarn okay, like georgette, but the difference is that one yarn is that warp yarn is jet twisted and wave yarn is S twisted. Okay. So, the characteristics of this uh, chiffon it is a very commonly used uh, fabric, it is give it gives large crepe structure at the surface in warp direction. Okay. So, due to the twist direction it gives to it gives crepe, but its uh, direction is different. Okay. Here again OFTN density and OFTN twist are changed. So, these are the different fabrics we have uh, it has been studied and the primary hand value was actually uh, obtained using this equation as we have already discussed earlier. Okay. So, these are the uh, primary hand value with the it is a the contribution ratio C i it gives. Now, 
let us see the how the different the hand expressions are actually we are getting we are changing with different fabric uh, parameters. A cosy what is cosy we have discussed cosy is a type of stiffness ok it is a stiffness. Now, the let us see take the two extreme value. So, intermediate we are not going to discuss here let us see the two extreme value the cosy highest cosy is it is a tafeta. Tafeta has got highest cosy and lowest cosy value it is a pongi. So, cosy increases with the wave T and density that means, for all the fabric almost all the fabric if we change the wave peaks per inch or peaks per centimeter the cosy value that the type of softness stiffness cosy is talking about type of softness filling cosy is talking about it is a it increases with the increase in the wave density. So, for a compact fabric we get a type of stiffness which is uh, cosy and now let us see why the taffeta is giving higher cosy value. What is taffeta? It is a twistless continuous filament okay. and pongi it is a false twisted continuous filament. That means, if we if we use the false twisted yarn the type of flexibility we will achieve it is a uh, type of flexibility we will achieve it is it gives the the cosy value lowest cosy value. Similarly, if the filaments are straight without any finish without any twist that means, it will this filaments will give us a continuous as a, as a, as a beam which will give some stiffness. So, that the stiffness which we get from a continuous filament fabric it gives the feel of cosy feeling. Next hurry, hurry is the anti drip stiffness that means, the fabric will not be able to adapt to the surface of any surface. The hurry in general for all the fabric increases with the increase in wave density. So, it is clear the if we change the wave density the type of stiffness which we will achieve will the it will be anti drip type of stiffness where the fabric will not be able to adapt the surface. So, higher density brings about higher hurry value. Now, again let us try to see the two extreme value the pongi and the taffeta. Taffeta again it is a twistless continuous filament and pongi is false twisted continuous. So, it is like earlier one. So, hurry also is actually uh, related with the wave density type of yarns used ok. So, if we try to get so from here our idea is if we try to develop a fabric which will have better drip ok better fabric will take the shape of our body then we should have a lower hurry value ok and to get that thing we should not use a continuous filament. So, if we wear a continuous filament fabric it will definitely be stiffer in nature it will uh, give certain type of tactile sensation sina yakasha it is a flexibility with soft feeling. So, as we 
keep on increasing the density of peak. So, that type of flexibility will drop, will reduce and also that soft filling will not be there. So, keeping the same yarn, same yarn, if we keep on increasing the weft that the, the type of soft filling and flexibility will lose, it is a Sinai Akasha. Okay. So, it decreases with the wave density. So, it is concluded that smaller density is necessary to get fabric with higher Sinai So, if we want the flexibility with little bit soft filling, so we have to reduce the wave density first. And also here if you see the taffeta which is made of twistless continuous filament, it is again it gives lowest Sinai Akasha, it is a, uh, a flexibility slow. Whereas, Pongi it, it gives higher Sinai Akasha. Fukurami, it is a fullness, it is a sense of fullness or softness of fabric. And if we see the its effect on wave density is not that significant. Although it, uh, it changes little bit, it is not there is no stand a norm. So, by, um, um, trend. So, fullness and softness it is uh, it's not that uh, the Fukurami it is not affected by uh, too much by the change in wave density at least within this range. But if we see the, the Pongi which is made of false twisted yarn which gives fullness fabric and soft filling. So, if we go for if we want fabric a soft filling fabric higher Fukurami we can go for this type of yarn okay. twistless uh, sorry false twisted yarn and taffeta with a say a georgette georgette with, with high twisted. So, it gives less Fukurami value fullness because it is a tight and even taffeta is more than georgette that means uh, with, uh, with a lower twist fabric the zero twisted fabric gives a little bit better better fullness better softness than the hard twisted fabric. Shari it is a crispness, crispness always is lost when we increase the fabric yarn density because crispness as we have discussed it is related with the, the stick slip type of it. So, it dec decreases so if uh, the fabric is uh, the wave density is increased. So, the crispness of the fabric will be lost. So, if we want higher crispness, so we have to use the less uh, wave density, the larger density is needed to get lower shari value. So, if we want to reduce the crispness of the fabric, some of uh, the uh, filling due to crispness, the tactile sensation, we can get some scratchiness, scratchiness filling that we get with the higher shari value, higher crispness. So, if we want to reduce then we have to reduce the we increase the density. Now, uh, georgette gives very high crispness that is due to the creep available that is a, a small creep available due to high twisted that gives higher crispness, but the taffeta with the uh, twistless yarn gives less crispness because it is a twistless one and uh, the pongi also it is a lower which is uh, made of false twisted yarn. Next is the scroopy filling kissimi it is a kind of silk like filling okay. the silk filling this uh, silk type of silk fabric causes this type of uh, nature. Okay. The effect of wave density is not that prominent here. So, wave density is uh, does not have that much effect. Okay. The effect was different with the different kinds of fabric. So, it is not. So, for taffeta the scroopiness scroopy filling reduces with the 
with the uh, wave density. So, taffeta is continuous filament. So, scroopy filling if we if we take a twistless filament if we have use the lower density then we will get certain filling that filling is called uh, that is scroopy filling. And if we increase the if we make a compact fabric made of the twistless uh, filament that that scroopy film that kissimi will be lost. So, it is it is a reducing this is interesting and georgette you said just see georgette it increases little bit okay, due to that. So, the different types of fabric they give uh, different nature of scroopy filling. Okay. So, these are the different weightage that we have discussed earlier also. So, uh, for cosy it is uh, bending rigidity is a uh, major positive parameter whereas, uh, the uh, this uh, shear hysteresis is the negative parameter. Sina yakasha which is uh, actually flexibility with soft fill where the bending rigidity is uh, negatively it is affecting shari it is uh, bending rigidity is uh, ne negatively affecting and mean deviation of mu MMD is positively affecting. What does it mean? That means, higher MMD will give higher crispness. Okay. Now, try to see the uh, bending rigidity. So, here the count of yarn is changed. As the text of yarn increases, the bending rigidity of the fabrics also increases. But it is interesting that twistless continuous filament, the in rate of increase is very sharp because of the it's a like a, it acts as a beam. Okay, so as we increase the diameter of the filament, it increases. But in georgette where high twisted yarns are used it is a crepe is present. So, that is why it is also increasing, but the rate of increase is not that it is almost flat. So, for taffeta if we want to increase the bending rigidity. So, count we can always increase. Okay. Sinaya Saka Yakasha, it is a flexibility with soft filling. Okay. Now, here you can see with the count, if we increase the count of yarn, that means we are increasing the yarn uh, diameter, that means flexibility will be lost and it is at higher rate for twistless filament and lower rate at lower rate in the twisted filament highly twisted filament. Okay. So, all these parameters we have discussed the effect of yarn count, effect of type of filament on different types of uh, handle uh, related aspects. Now, now we will discuss the other parameters like uh, fabric roughness. Now, fabric roughness is a sensation which we uh, tactile sensation which we get uh, when the fabric is in directly contact with the fabric uh, with the skin and that now we will try to understand the what are the factors and if we know the different factors then we can control the uh, the roughness. The sensation of fabric roughness, roughness is correlated with the fabric surface roughness. So, if we know the fabric surface roughness then we can uh, we can predict the uh, roughness of the fabric and it is related with the fabric frictional force and mean surface roughness coefficient okay so this this value we can get from the objective measurement and then we can predict the whether the fabric will be rough or smooth and also deviation of surface roughness coefficient so that uh, mmd we can get 
and also fabric roughness surface roughness is related with the compressional characteristics. Even if the uh, fabric is rough, suppose uh, uh, mean deviation of surface roughness it is high, but if the fabric is highly compressible in that case fabric may not feel uh, rough. So, these are all interrelated if the fabric is frictional force is very high. So, for soft fabric it may be feeling may be totally different it may not be that rough, but a fabric with very uh, highly stiff fabric not compressible fabric even a small change in fric uh, frictional force or small change in surface roughness will give a very rough feeling. So, it is a compressibility is another parameter which is related with the fabric surface roughness. So, fabric roughness apparently we mean it is a surface characteristics it is not the only the surface characteristics it is the it is a bulk characteristics also it is a compression. Okay. So, compressibility and compressional energy if the compressional energy is uh, less what is compressional energy it is the energy required to compress. Okay. So, that energy if it is less or compressional in a uh, uh, compressibility is high then the fabric may not feel uh, rough then coming to the fiber diameter. So, keeping all these parameters uh, same if we use the fabric fiber with uh, fabric with higher fiber diameter then we will feel uh, roughness. So, it is a fabric tensile characteristics or fiber tensile characteristics that is directly related with the roughness of uh, fiber with the higher Young's modulus will give uh, roughness. So, breaking elongation and breaking uh, load. So, and uh, tensile characteristics of fabric also a uh, fabric is a uh, it is a very stiff fabric will give rough uh, sensation breaking elongation and breaking elastic recovery of fabric. So, it has been studied and observed that the roughness sensation of oven fabric is less than the roughness sensation of knitted fabric and the study carried out on nylon monofilament fabric of oven and knitted fabric. So, perception of roughness increases with increase in filament diameter. So, as we increase the diameter of the monofilament the perception of roughness will increase that means, if we produce a fabric with a micro denier filament another fabric with a coarse filament monofilament uh, the coarse monofilament will give a rough feeling. This is due to the various parameters it is a bending rigidity and all. So, ultimately the roughness is related with not only the surface roughness of fabric, but the many other parameters. Okay. So, fiber diameter and also the knitted fabric the structure of fabric it has been observed that knitted fabric gives the rough structure than the oven fabric. So, oven fabric due to its the proper structure it gives the little bit less roughness than the knitted structure due to its loop structure. Okay. This is the roughness sensation it is a it is a sensation received by subjective measurement and fiber diameter. So, with the increase in fiber diameter roughness sensation increases and knitted fabric is rougher than the oven as far as sensation is concerned. Now, prickle sensation prickle sensation we have discussed a lot earlier how to measure the prickle sensation. Now, the parameters what are the parameters which affect the prickle sensation one study in 1988 it shows the fiber diameter fabric thickness at low load that means amount of hairs it measure. So, at low load that we have uh, seen earlier at low load and surface roughness has directly correlated with the prickliness. So, higher roughness higher fiber diameter and higher number of hairiness the fabric uh, thickness measurement it has got direct correlation with the fabric prickle sensation. Another study which says the density of 
coarse fiber number of coarse fibers per unit area influence the fabric pickles and that we have already discussed so co number of coarse fiber it is uh, projected and its density if it is high then it gives proper pickle sensation okay so variation in diameter distribution in individual fiber that's very important so if a fabric is made of 100% at proper coarser fabric coarser uh, coarser fiber that will give a certain prickle sensation but another fabric is made of a fiber of mix or uh, diameter like fine fiber coarse fiber mix if the diameter distribution that is a coefficient of variation of the fiber diameter if it is high then that fabric will give us higher pickle sensation that is the reason the wool fiber gives a coarser wool fiber gives a higher pickle sensation than coarser say any synthetic fiber. Say if we produce a fabric made of very coarse polyester or any other synthetic fiber coarse synthetic fiber staple fiber where sufficient hairs are projected another fiber, uh, fabric made of the wool fiber coarse wool fiber. So, the coarse wool fiber gives the uh, more pickle sensation due to the fact that wool being a natural fiber it does not have the same diameter it has got the diameter variation it has got very coarse and finer also medium. So, that due to this variation the prickle sensation is more because the uh, if the all the fibers are coarser then it does not mean that it will give the prickle sensation more. Pickle. So, for polyester coarser fiber gives less prickle sensation than uh, wool mainly due to the coefficient of variation of diameter. So, for polyester diameter variation is least next come the comes the fabric scratchiness it is again it is related with the frictional characteristics. So, it is related with the five fabric tensile characteristics breaking elongation work of rupture and the modulus. Now, try to see so same fabric suppose same fiber we are using one fabric is stretchable we have developed a fabric uh, the coarse type of fabric which is say uh, stretchable in nature and another fabric made of the same fiber which is not stretchable or else we can see the oven fabric a oven fabric and a knitted fabric. So, oven fabric is not that stretchable ok it is uh, elongation is not that high its modulus is high than the knitted fabric knitted fabric is stretchable in nature like in uh, web knitted fabric. So, web knitted fabric will give lesser scratchiness because of the extensibility or if we use a fabric with higher extensibility it will give less uh, scratchiness fabric surface roughness. So, with the increase in surface roughness obviously, it will give scratchiness ok. Frictional force mean surface roughness coefficient and deviation of surface roughness coefficient this all give the sensation of scratchiness ok. Compression uh, compressional characteristics that as we have discussed earlier also that uh, roughness the scratchiness also a fabric with very highly rough structure, but highly compressible may not give the scratchiness. So, that so these are all related so, compressibility uh, linearity uh, with compression. So, all this para parameter are related with the scratchiness. So, there are uh, the fiber properties which affect the scratchiness and fabric properties 
which affect the scratchiness. The fiber properties are the fabric scratchiness uh, depends on the fiber properties which is first is flexural rigidity of fabric. So, higher flexural rigidity will give higher scratchiness. So, we need a fabric fiber with a very soft fiber. So, to reduce the flexural rigidity we can use the fiber diameter simple. So, that way it will give less scratchiness. So, that is why coarser fiber always give scratchy feeling than the fine fiber. Okay. Frictional characteristics of fiber. So, fiber frictional characteristic we have to use a fiber with less frictional coefficient. So, flexural rigidity of fiber it is dependent on the fiber modulus, cross sectional shape, linear density and density of the. So, this density is related with the it is a polymer characteristics. So, this and uh, fiber modulus is also for uh, polymer characteristics. Okay. So, this if we change this uh, if we can control this flexural rigidity we can control the the fiber scratchiness. Okay. So, fiber flexural rigidity and fabric scratchiness they are actually directly related with a straight very actually very highly correlated with this uh, scratchiness sensation. So, higher flexural rigidity will give higher scratchiness sensation. Higher friction gives higher scratchiness. Okay. Fiber with low friction like nylon or rayon, this nylon and rayon they give uh, they have the low friction, it is so lower scratchiness than predicted from the flexural rigidity. So, if we predict the flex, if we use the scratchiness as a function of flexural rigidity, then nylon gives a lower value because of the it is a lower friction. So, friction, so it is related with the friction, flexural rigidity, diameter of the fiber. So, that if we understand this parameter, then we can control the fabric scratchiness. So, if we have a problem with tactile sensation of higher uh, scratchiness, then we can control with all these parameters. Next comes another feeling uncomfortable feeling which is clinginess. The clinginess uh, it is a, it's a nature which actually it is a fabric tries to stick to our skin and fabric only sticks to our skin when our skin is wet. So, that means a fabric which is comfortable in uh, this uh, cold and dry temperature may not be comfortable in hot humid temperature. So, you must understand the uh, what is clinginess and how to eliminate by selecting the fiber characteristics. So, clinginess can be avoided by wearing fabric having high weakability. So, if the sweat whatever sweat is it is uh, it is uh, coming out from the body if our fabric is able to weak to absorb and weak the uh, all this take out take away the sweat and uh, make the skin dry then the we will not have this clinginess okay under condition of profuse uh, sweating so when person work it's a um, workwear for particular workwear so in hot and humid surrounding that type of uh, condition if it the fabric's tendency will be uh, will to cling with the body and then it gives them different tactile sensation which is uncomfortable in nature. So, for work wear we should be very careful about the clinginess characteristics okay. and uh, that means, we have to use a cloth we have to use a fiber which is very highly weak, weak characteristics. Okay. And uh, clinginess test we can do to actual to measure the amount of clinginess cling fini, uh, feeling of the fabric. It is the clinginess tension is the tension 
required to remove a fabric from a wet surface. In a wet surface, the fabric is uh, there. Okay. So, the, in this uh, table, if you pour uh, uh, water, then a fabric is placed in that and how much force is required to take away the fabric, it is a it is a clinginess uh, tension. So, this is measured with this principle. Okay. Now, this is the uh, surface okay, and uh, this yellow one is the fabric one and it is a uh, water is placed. The wet fabric is placed against the porous and water soaked surface. This is the porous and water soaked surface and it is pulled nearly parallel to the surface and then the tension is measured so with the help of tensile tester it's a very simple test but this gives an idea about the clinginess characteristics the maximum tension which occur at the fabric when it begins to slide that is the clinginess tension okay is plotted against the water content of the fabric. So, you, uh, you keep on changing the water content and then we try to measure the tension. So, that gives an idea about the diff at different level of sweating what will be the clinginess testing. Now, here this we can take our actually our uh, hand our uh, body surface as a another surface this surface. Okay. We can uh, so, this uh, one can easily uh, develop uh, this instrument and one can test the at different level of sweating what will be the clinginess tension for different types of fabric. So, this is the relations between the clinginess sensation and clinginess tension. So, this is there is a, a very good correlation between these two parameters. So, what are the various factors which affect the clinginess? Okay. So, lower flexibility of fiber gives greater clinginess. That means, if we use not only fiber, it is a yarn also, or it is also fabric. So, if we use a fiber with a highly flexible fiber, or maybe uh, one is a coarse fiber, another is fine fiber. So, coarse fiber will have lower flexural rigidity and that will give us more clinginess. That means, it will try to actually take it is uh, the shape of the surface okay. and when it is a clinged or it is a wet, the it will try to stick to the surface. Okay. So, it may be due to the so, the lower flexibility means it is may be due to a lesser ability of fiber to break up the water film caused by addition between fabric and the skin. So, this uh, when the sweat is present in our on the skin, so it will form a film water film and it will form a bond with the skin and the fabric the lower flexibility means it will try it, it has it does not have the uh, that much force to break this uh, the bond. So, if instead if we use the higher flexibility whatever bond it is trying to form due to its rigidity it will try to break. So, that means the fabric uh, very soft fabric very highly flexible fabric always give this type of problem of clinginess. So, that we can uh, in our daily ex, um, ex, uh, experience we have seen if we wear very fine fabric made of cotton so very fine fabric it gives the it tries to stick to it is a clinging force. So, that type of sensation we may not get if we wear a coarser fabric and this clinginess we do not get that feeling in the dry condition dry and cold and dry condition okay only 
the problem comes in hot and humid condition. So, this uh, the water film can be broken by using the fiber with higher flexural rigidity. So, the relationship we can see the higher flexural rigidity gives the lower clinginess, clinging tense. Okay. Next comes the warmness and heaviness. So, warmness and heaviness uh, is another tactile sensation which we receive. It is a combination, it is a it is a very highly uncomfortable uh, sensation the fabric warmness and heaviness it is a it is a not the separate you cannot separate the warmness and heaviness it is a combined this sensation is uh, uh, it is a very highly dis, uh, uh, it gives a discomfort. Okay. The rating of tactile sensation of heaviness alone is very low alone heaviness is uh, it is a tactile sensation is low like the heaviness is always associated with the warmness and two sensations have been always combined like a heavy fabric like uh, with the higher GSM higher mass heavier cloth we are wearing at air conditioned room. That we may not feel that much discomfort, but the same fabric will be highly discomfortable when it is warm and humid. It is at high temperature, it is warm temperature that heaviness of the fabric it gives a different types of sensation, it is a tactile sensation. So, that means warmness is associated with the heaviness. So, heavy fabrics we can always use at cold temperature, but at warm temperature whatever may be the condition the fabric always we should try to develop a fabric with lighter fabric lighter in mass then only it will give a comfort otherwise we will get a combined sensation of tactile sensation which is a discomfortable sensation. So, warmness might be more dependent on fabric thickness. So, a thicker fabric will give more warmth than its weight. So, weight fabric may be heavier, it may not be warm. Okay. So, a thick fabric will always give the warmness. So, we have to now the sensation of warmness and heaviness we have to measure how to measure the warmness and warmness and uh, heaviness sensation. So, first if we want to measure the get the idea about the warmness we should measure the thickness and if we want to measure the heaviness of the fabric it is more dependent on the weight of the fabric than thickness. Okay. So, we will measure the thickness uh, weight of the fabric. So, and when we are talking about the warmness and heaviness they are interrelated then we have to have certain parameter which is product of fabric weight and fabric thickness. So, we can if we get a parameter which is product of fabric weight and fabric thickness which will give an idea about the warmness and uh, discomfort about uh, related to warmness and heaviness. So, this product it gives a better idea the, uh, the objective value about the sensation of warmness and heaviness the discomfort due to warmness and heaviness it is uh, it is uh, highly correlated with that this product. Okay. Now, we have discussed all these aspects of the tactile sensation and fabric handle related characteristics uh, roughness, scratchiness, smoothness all these characteristics we have discussed and basically the this all these characteristics are 
actually it can be improved by fabric finishing. So, it is said that cloth is made in the finishing. So, whatever may be the characteristics we are a, if we want to say make the fabric uh, reduce the uh, fabric friction or improve the fabric surface uh, roughness we can finish the fabric. If we want to make the fabric smooth or fabric uh, flexible we can finish the finishing may be chemical finishing may be mechanical finishing. So, whatever fabric we are producing if we feel the tactile sensation tactile finish tactile comfort is not achieved then we can incorporate extra finishing. If we have if we uh, uh, feel that a fabric is not that much soft we can give the softness finishing. If we feel the fabric is not that uh, compressible we can give we can also improve the compressible finishing. So, finish fabric finally is made in the finishing for improving the tactile sensation for improving the comfort. So, there are many types of finishes available we are not uh, we will not discuss here. So, we can improve uh, say uh, compressibility characteristics we can uh, improve the warmth by brushing we can improve the softness characteristics by various characters uh, various finish. So, if we understand all this uh, uh, parameters if we understand the effect of uh, fiber characteristics, effect of fabric characteristics, effect of finish characteristics on uh, the tactile sensation. Then we can develop a fabric with a very highly comfortable fabric for as far as tactile uh, comfort is concerned. So, with this we will end the session of uh, tactile sensation. Thank you.